This is a minion bracelet. Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a one-eyed minion bracelet. Um, you can use this to do other kinds of bracelets, and I'll show you at the end some of the other things that we've made. So the first thing you need your loom, your hook, um, some yellow bands, and some blue bands, and a few black bands, one gray band, a white band, and then you're going to need this eye, googly eye, and it, you see it has a it has a little place on the back to put something through. Um, they're actually kind of hard to find. We got them on eBay. Uh, they're for dolls. And this is, uh, the one we're using is 10 millimeters. And you're gonna need two C-clips. And also, um, you're gonna need a piece of dental floss. Just like about like that. And that's for the eye, because it's hard to get the rubber band into it. Okay, so this is um, a pattern for a triple single, but we're gonna double the rubber bands. So you're gonna take two rubber bands and start on the side here and you're gonna go just put them both on then you're gonna do that you're gonna do six on the right then you're gonna do eight in the middle And then um, you're going to do six on the side, on the other side. Okay, so that looks like that. Then you're going to fill in the rest with blue. Again, you're going to double, and you're just going to go all the way. Okay, so when you're done, it should look like that. Then you're going to take, we'll start with yellow at the bottom, and you're going to make upside down triangles to hook it together. So you don't want to start on this first pin, you want to start on this pin, and you're going to put it across. Okay, so then you're going to go all the way up the loom like that. And then <clears throat> when you start to have more blues, you're going to switch to blue triangles. It's not really exact. And you're going to go all the way up to the very top so then it will look like that. So you can see, so you're going all the way to the top but you're skipping the bottom three. Okay, now you're ready to hook. So turn your loom around. Make sure when you started your arrows were facing up. Hopefully you know that. Turn the loom around so that your arrow is facing towards you and you're going to just hook. You're going to go up the rows. Now make sure you go inside the triangle, grab the two, it's easier if you kind of hold it down, and pull the two over. Like that. So you can see. Then you're just going to keep going all the way up. So you want to go inside all the rubber bands. 
Just grab the two on the bottom and hook it. Doesn't really matter if it comes off, just kind of put it back on. Okay, so you're going to go all the way up. Okay, then you're all hooked and that's what it should look like okay so then at the top you're going to carefully put your hook under here and you're going to pull it up and put it over the middle one and then do the same thing with the other side so it looks like that so now the way I do this to extend it is I just stick my hook in here and then I pull through one make sure you get all the rubber bands and then you can just go on a single and make it as long as you want um, for the kids I usually do six to eight if it's for a grown-up you might want to do ten extra bands You could also <clears throat> make the end on the loom, if that's easier, just put a C-clip on to hold the bands together. It's just a lot of bands for the C-clip. Okay, so then you're going to put the C-clip, oops, of this. Okay, so your C-clip is on the end. All right, now I find it's easier to put the eye on at this point. So we're going to take this eye and you're going to put gently stick the hook under the button part to widen it a little okay so you're going to stick the hook under make it a little bit wider stick it on both sides then and I'm going to warn you this is not this is the paint this is the worst part Okay, then this is the way I do it because I tried a whole bunch of different ways. I stick a piece of dental floss through the hole. I told you this is not easy. And if you get the flat kind, it might be easier. Okay, stick the dental floss through the hole. Then you're gonna put the white rubber band on the dental floss, like that. Then you're gonna hold the eye, stick the dental floss back through the hole again. So you hook it like that. And then you're gonna gently yank the rubber band through like that. You could probably also use a needle threader if you have one of those. It's old school. Then you're going to take one side of the rubber band, put it through the other loop, like that. Make like a slip with knot, and then pull. And the eye is on the rubber band. Then I like to go one, two, three, four, just above the fourth one. This is for a one eyed minion. You can do two eyes too. And I find it easiest to stick my hook through like that, grab the white on the hook, pull it back through, like that, and then 
then you're going to loop, you're going to make another slip knot. You're basically going to hook the rubber band This is easier when you're not trying to show someone how to do it. Okay, you're going to loop the rubber band around the eye to secure it. Like that. Okay. So you can sort of see. Okay, so now it's time to take it off. So, very carefully, and I use my hook to get the top one off. You're going to unhook it from the loom. Hope for the best. Doesn't it always make you nervous if all it's off? If your eye gets twisted, just twist it back around. And there you go. That's what it looks like. Okay, so now we've got to finish them off. So you're going to take your loom, turn it back so the arrow is facing forward. And you're just going to do a row of singles. I do three blacks. One gray. And then two more blacks. So you have six total. Then you're just going to do a single. Turn it around. And you're going to hook it like you would a single bracelet. Okay, so you did a single. You're going to take it off. And you put on some white, though. Not yet. Put the C-clip on the last one. I count. I clip. And pull it off. Okay. Then you're going to take it and secure it. And that's the goggle. So you're going to slip it over the... Minions hat? Over the minion's head. Get your head out of there. I, You're going to flip it over the minion's head and. One nine person. <laughs> and you're going to put um, the gray. You're going to make a white and black and green one. You're going to put the gray band over the eye. To Make secure it. Please. Like that? Then sometimes we like to put hair. Should we put hair on them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take a black rubber band. I'm just going to do one piece of hair. We'll put it in the middle like this. Again, just make a slip knot. And then you, um, you just clip this. Or you rip it like that. And you can make it shorter. And there's his hair. And that's a minion. Don't whip it! <laughs> yeah. With, you can make two-eyed minions. Here's an evil two-eyed minion. I love him. And here's an evil one-eyed minion. I love purple ones. And here's a girl that we made using a... I button love, that was sunglasses. I love this purple one. And here's Frankenstein, just in time for Halloween. I love him. I love purple guy. And here's a scarecrow, which is kind of goofy looking, but I love just an him. experiment. Okay, hope you enjoyed my minion video. Hope it was helpful. I